Hello, welcome once again to Stuff and Things, where I like to talk about stuff and occasionally even things. I'm your good friend Bradley, and today I have a pipe blend first impressions video for you. And the blend which I will be trying has been requested many, many times lately. I'm not sure what's going on, but I've had at least four requests, actually quite a few more than that, for me to try this blend, and I finally have it in hand. It is Cornell & Deal's Star of the East Flake. Now, it's very important that it's the flake version, apparently. I've been told by the people who have requested that I try this that it had to be the flake. So it's a little harder to find, but I finally have it in my hand, and I'm ready to try it. So, the blend is Cornell & Deal's Star of the East Flake. It is an English blend in flake form. I actually cracked this open once already. Once already. I already cracked it open because it is a flake and I didn't know how wet it was going to be. I didn't know if I was going to need some dry time. So I already have a pipe loaded up with the blend. This is a uh, Dunhill 1962 Shell Briar. Beautiful billiard. Love it. Um, so I have a little bit in there already. I had to dry it out just a tiny bit. It was actually pretty close to all right when I cracked it open. But since I can't do the first, you know, the first pop, the first sniff, you'll just have to pretend that it's the first pop, the first sniff. Star of the East Flake, there's a nice little choo-choo train on the front there. I guess that's maybe the Orient Express, perhaps. I'm not totally sure. One thing weird about this blend, I don't know if you can see this or if the camera will pick it up. Do you see all that dust and residue all over the paper? Um, when you rub this out, my hands are, were just completely black as though, uh, I don't know if you've ever done art where you use charcoal pencils or charcoal to actually draw. It's as if, it's as if I was using charcoal and drawing some sort of uh, portrait or something of somebody. I had to wash my hands afterwards, so that was kind of annoying. But anyway, if you can see this without me spilling it all over, it is a broken flake. And I haven't actually smelled it yet, but let me see. Mm-hmm. Whoa, okay. Oh, it's time for my favorite phrase, a lot of Latakia. There is a lot of Latakia in the bouquet of this blend. And if I read the description here, it says one half Cyprian Latakia. So they're saying that half of the volume of the tobacco in this blend is Latakia. And just by taking a quick look, it definitely does seem to have a lot of that inky black Latakia in here. And then there is also um, some Turkish Oriental, some Izmir, and uh, sweetened with stoved red Virginia. So pretty basic. Latakia, Turkish Oriental, and some Virginia. Red Virginia is the variety here. So like I said, I already have some in my pipe. I don't really know what to expect with this. I'm assuming it's going to be a fairly typical English blend, maybe uh, pretty high on the Latakia side. I'm assuming I'm going to taste a lot of Latakia. And it's very hot today. I'm sweating right now in the Stuff and Things studio. So as we've discussed in the past, I'm not always huge on heavy Latakia blends when the weather is very warm. I tend to go more for just straight Virginias or Virginia Perique blends. So we're going to try this. And also because the weather is warm, there are lots of motorcycles zooming around outside. I'm not sure why that's the case. I guess I know why that's the case, because the weather's nice and they want to get out, feel the wind through their thinning hair. Um, but anyway, we'll have to put up with that. So let me try to light this and we'll see what we have. Uh -huh. As is tradition, get a little bit in the mouth. Uh -huh. Charring light, a little bit of tampage. It's not taking the match extremely easily, even though it was pretty dry. By the time I'm actually getting to this bowl, I dried it out a little bit, rubbed it out first. Interesting. I'm not tasting a ton of Latakia. I'm definitely tasting some Latakia, but just based on 
the tin description and what I smelled when I opened the tin, I was expecting Ashton Artisan's Blend Dunhill Nightcap level smacky in the face with Latakia, and I'm not getting that yet. Still having a little bit of trouble keeping it lit. It hasn't really gotten going yet. Hmm. Hold on, I'm getting something here. Ooh, ooh, what is that? What is it? Hold on. Okay, a picture is forming here. I'm definitely getting Latakia. We've got that. We've got our Virginia. We got our Orientals. Everything is there. Everything is in place for a fairly typical English blend. And I'm tasting the things that you would typ typically associate with an English blend. I've got the Latakia in there. It's nice and smoky, fairly rich, not super overpowering though. But I'm also getting something that I think I described when I reviewed um, Gaslight by GLPs. And that is this deliciously bitter creosote sort of taste which sounds awful when you describe it but actually is quite pleasant and i quite enjoy it in an english blend i tend to go more for bitter or or maybe savory over super sweet and this is really scratching that ish right itch right now the ish as well but mostly the itch There's definitely some sweetness in here too, but it's not too much. It's not overpowering. And I think the fact that it's like stoved reds, um, it's, a little, it's a little darker, more mellow sweetness, I would say. And it seems to be meshing well with the kind of more bitter quality of the Latakia. I don't know if I'm noticing the Orientals too much yet. Maybe a little piquant sourness from the Orientals in the background there. But there's something kind of undefinable about this blend. And it's weird when you've reviewed as many blends as I have, tried as many as I have, they all can kind of run one into the other. It's hard to really pick. There are a few that sort of stand out in your brain, but when you've tried so, so many, it's hard to have a very distinctive memory of every single one. And this one, is not really reminding me of anything in particular, but it's reminding me of a feeling of sort of an association. Um, I mentioned Gaslight, but I don't think it really tastes like Gaslight, but there's something in there, this kind of bitter, I, I, it's not quite the creosote that I tasted in Gaslight, but it's reminiscent of it maybe. It's kind of confusing me a little bit, but I think I like it. This one's gonna take some more time, definitely. There's a lot going on here. There's a lot that I like. There's a good balance between the Latakia. I like the sweetness from the Virginia. It's not too overpowering. There is a little bit, like I mentioned, of that kind of sweet sort of tart, or not sweet, the sort of tart, sour piquancy from the, is it piquancy? Piquant, piquant, piquancy from the Orientals in the background there. But there's more. There's something underlying all of it. I haven't really teased it out yet, but I do enjoy this already, and I think I'm going to enjoy it even more as I smoke it more. I'm glad that so many people recommend I try Cornell and Deal's Star of the East Flake. You can look forward to a full review in one week's time. I'm going to be trying this out probably every morning because as it's going to be getting hotter and hotter, I'm probably not going to want to smoke this as much in the afternoon. But I think with morning coffee, this will go quite well. So look forward to that review in a week. Until next time, until that review posts, until we meet again, I've been your good friend Bradley. You've been the audience. This has been Stuff and Things on a first impressions video of Cornell and Deal, Star of the East Flake. I'll see you later. Piquancy. If there is one pipe blend that I have been harangued about more than the one that I'm going to have my first impressions of today, I can't think of what it could be. And the blend is, <clears throat> that was a very awkward sentence, <clears throat> finally have it in my hands and I'm finally ready, finally ready for a first smoke. Why can't I talk today?
I can speak. I can move my lips and produce sound. I can speak. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> well, that's annoying. I have a first impressions video for you of a pipe blend that has been 